It's oxygen ozone therapy, because part of the benefit comes from getting oxygen into the joint. And then the ozone plays another role. Welcome to the Doctor's Pharmacy. I'm Dr. Mark Hyman, and that's pharmacy with an F, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, a place for conversations that matter. And if you suffer from arthritis, this is an important conversation to listen to, or you have chronic pain, this is a conversation you need to listen to because it's a special episode of the Doctor's Pharmacy called House Call. And today my guest is Dr. George Papanicola, one of our physicians here at the Ultra Wellness Center in Lenox, Massachusetts. Welcome, George. Thank you, Mark. Glad to be here. So, George, you're doing an incredible new kind of therapy that is helping patients with osteoarthritis <clears throat> when other things often aren't working. Mm. So let's talk about this epidemic of osteoarthritis we have mm. in America. How common is this? How big of a problem is it? And, and what do we do traditionally to deal with it? So Mark, uh, 27 million Americans under, over the age of 25 have osteoarthritis. And the, the joint that is most commonly affected is the knee. It creates a great deal of morbid, uh, mor morbidity, uh, meaning that suffering. Suffering. <laughs> I, I, I know, that's I, a fancy medical I, word for right, suffering. Pain just, in the ass. Right. So yeah. So and um, our traditional therapies basically help you control the symptoms, but might not necessarily do anything to reverse it. So using Motrin or Advil or Tylenol are common things people will use. And then your orthopedic surgeon may inject it with a steroid, or they may use something like a um, a, a lubricant. Like um, hyaluronic acid. Yeah, hyaluronic acid. And so it's a, only a lubricant and effect, And then though. you need a knee replacement. Right, and then you're getting <laughs> and, and then you're getting towards a knee replacement. And then we know that 40% of people that have their knee replaced still continue to have pain and loss of motion. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a lot of real successful treatments out there that are really changing people's lives. Yeah. Right, it's true. And I think, you know, we often used to think about osteoarthritis as a wear and tear problem. You know, you just beat up your joints too much. But it turns out it's, it's really an inflammatory problem as yeah. well. So what's interesting, there, there, it certainly increases with age and trauma to the knee um, is certainly part of what creates that inflammation. And that trauma can be repetitive use it, can, it doesn't have to be an ACL tear, you know, from a you know football injury. Uh, it, it can just be repetitive use on a person who's carrying too much weight on their body. So mm. obesity is a risk factor for arthritis. But obesity also is a generally inflamed then, state, right? So when you're obese, your fat cells are not just there holding up your pants; they're producing tons of inflammatory compounds that are making your whole system inflamed. Right, and so if you have an inflamed mm -hmm. system and you're creating microtrauma to your joints, you're going to have an overreactive response in the joint. And joints, we, you know, I think we should understand and know about them is that the cartilage and the lig ligamentous structures of the joint have lower oxygen tension than the rest of your body, meaning that they don't have an enormous oxygen supply. It's it's a little bit different than the rest of the body. And that plays a big role into why as we age, that oxygen supply actually decreases. Blood flow to those vital areas of the cartilage and ligaments decrease yeah. so that when you injure them, they're less likely to repair, more likely to have an inflammatory response that leads to degeneration. Yeah. Interesting. So what we're also learning about osteoarthritis is fascinating to me was that when they're doing like biopsies and doing analysis, they're finding microbes in mm. the joints. Yeah. Not, not an infection, but just like dislocated microbes from the gut. So yeah. we're seeing the microbiome we in are the again. gut in the right. knee, which is crazy. So that's maybe right. also triggering an inflammatory right. response, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we are really only 10% mm. human. We, we understand mm. that because we have, uh, you know, 100 trillion bacteria living in and on us and, and there are only 10, 10 trillion human cells, so. You know. so, so conventional medicine, basically, your knee hurts, you go to the doctor, and you get an x-ray, and they go, you have osteoarthritis, here, right. take some Advil, uh, you know, maybe do some strengthening exercises for your legs, uh, maybe if it gets really bad, you get a couple of shots in your knee of steroids, that doesn't work anymore, you need a knee replacement. It's kind of a bad trajectory. There's no way to really sort of recover from this. And from a functional medicine perspective, uh, we do a different approach. We do. And, 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 you know, I, I, we're, we are going to talk about that approach, but exercise does help. Nutrition does help. Losing weight does help. 
So there are definitely things that we can do with a person's lifestyle uh, and, and help them intervene. I worked with a patient that was 45 pounds overweight, was eating a totally processed food diet, was drinking too much, and was scheduled for uh, knee replacement in September. I saw them in early July and I said, hey, look, if you do these, these things I'm about to tell you, I bet you, you could be playing golf in January in Miami with your <laughs> friends instead of recovering from knee replacement. And he said, okay, I'll take you on. I said, okay, if you win any money in Miami, I get 10%. <laughs> All right. So, so guess what? Did you get the ten percent? <laughs> he got what he wanted. I didn't get what I wanted. Okay. So he lost forty-five pounds. Amazing. Right. I put him in physical therapy with a really good functional physical therapist. Strengthened his knee. He canceled. He canceled the the um, the knee replacement and came into an appointment like walking. Right. And he opened up an envelope with his tickets to Miami. Oh. Right. It's so amazing. And so But but you but just to be clear, yeah. it wasn't just like eat less, exercise more. No. You you put them on an anti inflammatory diet, diet. Yep. Which is is speaking to the point that osteoarthritis is not just a mechanical mm -hmm. wear and tear breakdown. It's a chronic inflammatory it's multiple process. Multiple things. And so from functional medicine perspective, we deal with chronic inflammation holistically. So what are the things that you did diet wise and, and, and supplement wise that actually helped with his chronic inflammation that helped his knees and the weight loss? The really key thing was, is to get him to decrease his alcohol and also to decrease his intake of, of processed foods. These processed foods are, are fast carbs that go into your body. They have toxins in them and they also create an inflammatory response driven by insulin. So sugar and starch are inflammatory right. yeah, yeah, foods. Right, and so we took that right out. So we just, you know, basically put them on a Mediterranean diet. But not gluten and dairy free? Gluten and dairy, oh, absolutely gluten and dairy free. So why is that important? Because as we've talked about before multiple times, you know, they're both inflammatory, right? And so gluten can actually trigger leaky gut, which again triggers that whole process of inflammation in the body. And then if you have any microtrauma to your knee, that inflammation, that cytokine response is going to lead to degeneration of cartilage and right. even bony structures in the knee. So here's the deal, like not everybody needs to be gluten and dairy free. No. But if you are inflamed. You gotta be. If you have a chronic problem, it's number one, two, and three on the list, right? Yep. You, you gotta gluten, get dairy, rid sugar. of gluten, dairy, sugar, Gone. and uh, and inflammatory foods yep. as the first step. Yep. And then you say, well, is it better? Is it not? Is right. it something else? Because it's sometimes something else, yeah. but, but it's really powerful when you put people on an anti-inflammatory diet. So if oh, you have absolutely. osteoarthritis, it's diet is one, two, and three, and, and it, it's really getting on a whole foods, plant-rich, good fats, absolutely, like lots of anti-inflammatory foods, getting off gluten, dairy, yeah, sugar, I put him, starch, processed it, yeah, foods. Yeah, so yeah, and you put them on really good, healthy um, fats, because fats are a really important part, process, part of the anti-inflammatory process. I put him actually, um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm dealing with inflammation uh, is high dose uh, omega-3s. So lots so, of omega-3s, right, right. Yeah, so I use, you know, 4,000 or more, um, so I put them on omega-3s. Uh, I use an anti-inflammatory uh, botanical called curcumin, uh, and so uh, it's sort of like a, a botanical Advil. Uh, so I put them on that. Um, I also use something like it's a supercharged uh, omega-3. It's refined from omega-3. It's called Specialized Pro um, uh, Resolving Factors, mediators. Uh, mediators. Yeah. And they are very SPM. potent. SPM. SPMs. So they're very potent uh, anti-inflammatories. So between his so diet. It's, it's sort of like the, it's like taking all the, the good juju out of the omega-3s right. and concentrating them and there's a lot of research done at Harvard on this. Oh, yeah. And you, your body has this ability to resolve inflammation. It has, it has an auto built-in system. Right. It's called resolvents. So, so resolvents are molecules in your body that resolve inflammation. So these are called specific pro-resolvin Mediators. mediators so they're really effective they There's are a lot of research on these so and a lot of, and a lot of research uh, with uh, particularly um post um surgical recovery post trauma recovery that these will actually enhance recovery um and you'll have a shorter recovery time when you're using spms yeah so they can be very effective so diet the supplements yes. and targeted supplements yeah even vitamin d yeah, might be helpful because right. it strengthens oh yeah bones absolutely and, right 
Yeah, I, vitamin D and omega and omegas are, are pretty much standard for me when I'm dealing with anybody with any amount of inflammation because of the impact that vitamin D has on the immune system, inflammatory system, mood. It just it just does so many things. Uh, in addition, physical therapy is very important because we do know that the muscular strength around a joint will pr protect that joint and keep it from the, the constant damage that it can get from repetitive use. So yeah, that's the right. physical I, therapy, I never had any knee problems, knock wood. Yeah. But I, I, you know, I, I have very big thighs because I was a runner most of my life and biker. So I have like yeah. really big thighs and my knees, my leg thighs are strong. My knees always were protected. Right. Yeah. So... I, I could tell a personal story. I had my, my right hip replaced, uh, had no pain. And then I fell, I injured it, it got inflamed. And within four months, I had to get a hip replacement. And I asked the surgeon, mm. why did I have end stage arthritis and not know it? Well, I had been running and I'd been racing a bike for 10 years. I mean, I had really strong legs. And he said, there are a couple things, George. One is you have so much strength in the leg and you may have been a person, because of your diet, you're not very inflamed. And so your cytokine response at the joint limited the pain you were gonna feel. So strength and anti-inflammatory living can actually keep you from even knowing you have yeah. arthritis. It's amazing. I had, I, had a, I had a lecture I did recently and there was this woman who's like, I did your 10 day reset. And it basically is a anti-inflammatory detox from sugar and starch and it gets rid of gluten, dairy, and sugar. It's, it's a really nice program. And you can go to get pharmacy with an F, G-E-T, pharmacy with an F dot com. And you can learn about it. You can download the program free. You can get the extra version if you want. But she did this, uh, not seeing me as a patient, just as on her own. And she said, I was scheduled for a bilateral knee replacement. I did this program, and I did it for more than 10 days, obviously. And I canceled them because my knees are fine now, which is a pretty amazing story. And I've heard this over and over. Yeah. So I think if you're, you know, if you're facing that level of surgery, I mean, a knee replacement is not right. easy. A hip replacement, you get the hip, you're up and going pretty quick. Uh, knee replacement, you're out for a long time, a lot of hard work, yeah. physical therapy. You don't really get back to perfect. I mean, it can be great yeah. for people who yeah. need it. But there's there's some other intermediate steps before you right. get there. Even if you know your diet's great right. and everything's great, you've done all these things and it's still not working. There's another therapy yeah. that right. has merged that is really powerful. Yeah, and this so, is this is yeah, this is very powerful stuff. And you know, I wanted to make sure we talked about that the lifestyle and those important things. Yes. But the, what we really wanted to talk about was ozone. Yeah. And prolozone. And, and what it can do for um, the the joints now, of your body. Now, take us to this, because you know, most yeah. people hear ozone, they think the ozone layer, and it's bad for you, and what? what? <laughs> right, so, so ozone is a gas. We know that there's oxygen, and oxygen is actually two oxygen atoms that come together, and they have to be together because they're very stable together. Oxygen by itself, it needs another electron, so it shares it with a partner. So you have O2, they're married, and they're very happy together. But if they get any solar activity in, uh, uh, placed upon them or any electrical activity, they'll split. And that's happening constantly all the time. But they'll come back very quickly together. But sometimes they come back and there's a third person there. Right? There's another extra oxygen molecule that's latched on because you couldn't find a partner. So now you have this what we call triatomic oxygen or O3. And now mm -hmm. there's, there's, not enough, there's not enough electrons for all three to share. So those, the, the, the two oxygens, I've got to find a way to get rid of this third wheel. So that becomes a very unstable molecule. And it's that very thing that makes it so effective. Tell, tell us how treating. it works. So how would you use that with arthritis? So the way it works is, is that um, we can actually, we have an ozone machine. We have a machine. Ozone generator. Was, ozone generator. Which takes oxygen and runs but, into this yep, machine that was invented right. by Nikolai Tesla. Oh, you, I was just, he did it again. He steals, <laughs> I need to say stuff too. It's my, my podcast. It's it my podcast. <laughs> so Nikola Tesla in 1898, I think it was like 1893 or so, um, he, developed, he, he patented the first um, ozone machine, which is a really cool thing. Uh, so, um, so now we have ozone machines and we have an ozone machine that we hook up to medical grade oxygen. And in that machine, it will... Um, take that oxygen, it will hit it with electricity and create ozone. And it can be modulated as to how much ozone you can actually make. And you can, you can make anywhere from 1% to 5% oxygen-ozone um, uh, mixture um, in different concentrations, and we can adjust that concentration. So we pick so it's it mostly up. oxygen with a little ozone. Yep. Mostly oxygen, a little ozone. And that's really critical because part of the, the, the it's ozone it's oxygen ozone therapy because part of the benefit comes from 
getting oxygen into the joint. And then the ozone plays another role. So we then take this ozone and we inject it directly into the joint. It can be the shoulder joint, it can be um, the knee, it can be the hip, yeah. it can be the ankle. Um, if Any joint you can put ozone in. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Hyman. Thanks for tuning into The Doctor's Pharmacy. I hope you're loving this podcast. It's one of my favorite things to do and introducing you to all the experts that I know and I love and that I've learned so much from. And I wanna tell you about something else I'm doing, which is called Mark's Picks. It's my weekly newsletter. And in it, I share my favorite stuff from foods to supplements to gadgets to tools to enhance your health. It's all the cool stuff that I use and that my team uses to optimize and enhance our health. And I'd love you to sign up for the weekly newsletter. I'll only send it to you once a week on Fridays. Nothing else, I promise. And all you have to do is go to drhyman.com forward slash picks to sign up. That's drhyman.com forward slash picks, P-I-C-K-S, and sign up for the newsletter and I'll share with you my favorite stuff that I use to enhance my health and get healthier and better and live younger, longer. Now back to this week's episode. The way ozone works is pretty interesting. Because it's, um, it's unstable, it actually has what we call a hermetic effect. It actually, by the fact that it, it stimulates the body to do something better by irritating it. Yeah. So it's a little like bit- Like if you're lifting weights, right. you tear some yeah. muscles and you get bigger, stronger muscles. Right. So um, what happens inside the joint is that it will actually modulate the cytokine response. So when you have that damage to your knee and you're constantly moving it, you're constantly creating that inflammatory response and there are cytokines. And those cytokines will then, this inflammation will lead to the breakdown of cartilage and eventually even bone and it also mediates pain. Ozone has been shown to modulate that response so that it will actually produce more of the anti-inflammatory cytokines versus the pro-inflammatory cytokines. So it also what, activates your antioxidant system. Right. So and it's it, like an antioxidant for your knee and anti-inflammatory directly in there. Exactly. So you get anti-inflammatory, it stimulates antioxidant, uh, an antioxidant effect. But remember what I said earlier, that the knee and, and the well, cartilage anywhere and ligamentous structures don't have a great oxygen supply. And when you have that much inflammation in an older person and that oxygen supply and circulation has been diminished, now you, have, you don't have any of the healing um, uh, capacity that you would have had without inflammation or if you were younger. Yeah. What does ozone do? Ozone actually increases blood flow, it increases ox oxygen delivery and ox oxygen utilization. Wow, All that's good. It, and it stimulates chondroblast and fibroblastic activity so that you can actually build up cartilage and build up the soft tissues around the knee. It's amazing. pretty, it's pretty amazing, amazing stuff. So I'm just gonna it, tell a personal anecdote. So I've also been trained in ozone and we do this here at the Ultra Wellness Center. Um, Prolos and other forms of ozone therapy for chronic illness, which are really effective for so many things and definitely on the margins of medicine, but very, very powerful. And I had a broken arm a number of years ago and went to get training on how to do this uh, and my arm wasn't healing and then i had a frozen shoulder i could oh, not move my right. arm above like you know like yeah 45 degrees from my body uh it was so painful and he's like yeah i can inject your shoulder the the guy who was training us um and he took ozone and injected it into my shoulder joint and literally within five minutes i was like doing this i was completely mobile yeah. moved my arm everywhere there was another doctor in the training as well who had had a frozen shoulder, not just for six months, but for years. Same thing, injected his shoulder. Yeah. We're yeah. Like, wow, it's a miracle. Seen it over and over again. Yeah. It, and it's, I, it's amazing. And I remember a patient, uh, not that it was mine, but when I was in training, there was a guy who had, had been a, an NHL hockey player and he'd won five Stanley Cups, part of the New York Islanders, and his knees were shot. Mm. He couldn't walk. And he'd come in for a number of treatments to this doctor. And, and after the ozone treatments in his knee, which I saw him administer, he just literally was up and walking. And I've yeah. seen people come in with canes and dance their way out. It's pretty amazing. I, I know it sounds, you it know. It sounds wacky, right? It, but it's, it's, but it's, it, it sounds <laughs> sensational, um, but it is. I mean, I was, I mean, I, that yeah. convinced me. I literally could not move. I know, you know, I was, had to go to physical therapy for a year and had to maybe go under anesthesia to mobilize my shoulder and all these things I was getting yeah. recommended. And I'm like, it was like five minutes. 
and it was painless. Yeah, it is. It is. There's a little needle poke, but that, yeah. that was it. And when we do it, we not only inject the ozone in, but because we know what's happening and that the joint hasn't been getting the blood supply it needs, the nutrients it needs, we'll add in some nutrients that are part of the healing process. Yeah. So we'll add in some um, 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 uh, methylcobalamin, some magnesium, uh, and uh, and procaine. We use procaine also because it actually changes the the action potential of the cell and um, membrane which has been disrupted by the inflammation and it allows for the cells to become healthier so the procaine actually is not just for the anesthesia but it's also to help the uh, the cells um, heal that's amazing so so tell us about this patient you had who you've treated with oh yeah ozone here at the ultra wellness center using using prolo ozone which is a form of ozone that you inject into joints or soft tissues to help with pain yeah, so this is a this is a woman um, who just two years ago went on a pilgrimage and hiked through these very very high mountains in Spain, and uh, on that hike, she she had been having pain in her knee on and off, but nothing that ever inhibited her from doing anything she wanted. But on this hike, suddenly it blew up, mm. and she couldn't finish her pilgrimage, so she came home to her doctor. X-rays were done, and she had pretty much bone on bone in her knee. Wow. That's and terrible. so over the past two years, she has had steroid injections and she's had um, a, a uh, lubricant injection with hyaluronic acid. And she had some benefit, but she still wasn't able to hike. So she asked if I would um, treat her and I evaluated her and I treated her with ozone. And after her second injection, just three days ago, she had her second injection almost two and a half weeks ago, three days ago, she went on her first hike in two years. She hiked six miles wow. and went over mountains that were very high and she didn't have a problem. And the day after she said, I didn't have any swelling. That's amazing. That is and, amazing. And, 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 you know, so how many treatments do people often need? It doesn't sound like that usually, many. So, you know, usually I tell people between three to, to maybe eight injections, usually somewhere between three and six is is the sweet spot. And then you can come in for a tune-up if you need it. Absolutely. Is it painful? Not at all, not yeah. at all. I mean, you'll, you'll feel the needle going in initially, but once I'm in the joint, um, you may it's not painful. You may feel the pressure of the ozone going in, but I monitor that very closely when I'm doing it, and I can actually feel it. Uh, and You can feel the, the yeah. knee fill up with gas, Yeah, right? you can. And it, it's basically a disinfectant. So there's microbes in there that shouldn't Gone. be there. It activates the anti-inflammatory system. It's a Perfectly. powerful antioxidant. And uh, it's like... A, and, it man and it manages a cytokine response, yeah. which in, it, you know causes the inflammation and the pain. It's pretty remarkable. I mean, if, I, if I hadn't experienced it myself like that, I would like, oh, this sounds really quacky. And, and, and actually, it's, it's a real procedure that's being used all over the world. For in years. In many countries, for years. It's used here, years. you know, to some degree. But in, in many other countries, like Cuba and South America. And, Spain, and Spain, Italy. Italy, Russia. I mean, they're doing Russia. this ex extensively. Yeah. It's extremely inexpensive. It's super effective. It's probably more effective than most traditional treatments for osteoarthritis. Absolutely. And it's got very low downside and very low cost. Right. When you inject steroids in a knee over time, it's going to degrade the cartilage. It's going to degrade the knee. It's going to make things worse. Right. You get a temporary benefit, but then you end up with worse. 10%, 10 of people. This actually helps restore cartilage. Yeah, that, that, that study that came out um, in 2019, 10% of the people that get steroid injections, actually their, their arthritis gets worse. Yes. And they end up with unexplained fractures. Yes. So because it, we it weakens their tissues. Yeah. So we, we we know that. And with prolo ozone, we've seen we've seen cartilage regenerate. Right, and that's the difference. That's what I, I wanted to make sure we made that point because it stimulates chondroblasts. Chondroblasts are the cells that rebuild cartilage. It can rebuild the cartilage. And again, what we love in functional medicine is to find those modalities that just don't maintain disease but will actually reverse it. And prolozone fits the bill. And, and you were saying this patient, she's hiked six miles and she was told she needed knee replacement. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's pretty amazing. And so, she was, she's pretty near bone on bone. That's incredible. Well, it'd be interesting to see her follow-up yeah, x-rays and to continue yeah. to do this and track it. But I think, I think people out there suffering from osteoarthritis, you know, the focus really should be on lifestyle. And I think yeah. people need to understand they have a lot of power to transform the inflammatory state of their body. And what, what, what often is, is considered diseases of aging are often inflammatory diseases. We call it inflammaging. Yeah, right? absolutely, And I think the, yeah. the arthritis is part of that. It's not just oh, yeah. a bone on bone, you know, mechanical issue. It's, a, it's an inflammatory issue. So using an aggressive lifestyle approach, 10 day reset, for example, 
using prola ozone as an adjunct can be incredibly helpful for those people who need it. And I think it works for all kinds of joints, all kinds of orthopedic and soft tissue issues, back problems. And I think it's, it's really such a great service we offer here at the Ultra Wellness Center. It is great. Center. And it's safe. And it's safe. It's safe. You know, they did this study in 1980 in Germany where they looked at 650,000 treatments that were provided by uh, um, six, uh, um, 644 docs um, to 300 and some, I think, 50,000 uh, patients. And um, they're their complication rate, there was only 40 complications reported, which was 0.000007% complication rate. Seven in 100,000. Yeah. That's and not too bad. You, yeah, you're pretty good, you're pretty <laughs> good at math. Um, so yeah, that's a, great, that's a great safety record. And it's been used in Europe for at least the half, half a century um, for treating viruses, infections, um, wounds. Yeah, and this was not, this yeah. was not prolozone, but this was other forms of ozone. Yeah, other so, forms of ozone. But it, it yeah. is very safe. Yeah. And I think, I think uh, we're so excited to be able to introduce this here, not just for orthopedic issues, but we have different forms of ozone we give intravenously and through other methods that help people with all sorts of chronic issues. So I encourage you all to check it out, learn more about it, go to ultrawellnesscenter.com, check out the Get Started page, learn how to become a patient. We'd love to see you here. We can do all virtual consults, although you can't do Prola Ozone over Zoom, which is a <laughs> problem. Yet. But we are offering the service still. We're open, our clinic is open. We'd love to see you. And uh, if you have loved this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you next time on The Doctor's Pharmacy. Goodbye, Mark. <laughs>